Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a spawn in World Garden, new spawn protection, and how to set up a PvP area with World Garden, much, much more. But first, a mention from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for just a few dollars per month. It is an incredible deal, and we love them so much that we use them ourselves for our own network Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. All that information is in the description down below if you want to use apex before you buy it yourself but nonetheless let's go ahead and get world guard set up so the first thing you need to do is download world garden if you go to the second link down below it will take you here where you can scroll down and then click on latest release for bucket take us off to here where we can then download the latest release for bucket pretty simple stuff now we also want to download the uh, world edit right here right we want to download world edit because world edit is required for world guard world edits the third link down below Come here, click on the download latest, and you'll be good. Then, obviously, we want to drop that into our uh, plugins folder, like I have here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and run the server. After the server is up and running, it will obviously generate some config files in here. But for World Guard, you don't really need to configure anything in your config. It's pretty much all done in game. You can look over the config. Uh, it's always smart to look over every config for every plugin you download just in case. But overall, I'm not going to be going over anything in there because I've never had to use it, never had to change anything, and most people don't. So once the server is started, which it seems to be taking a bit to, to download the jar, but once it's started, we will be jumping into game here and uh, all of that stuff. Look at that. Play.breakdowncraft.com. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse, guys. Right there it is. Come join us if you wanna if you wanna have some fun. Play.breakdowncraft.com. I'll get this server started and see you once it's done. And there we go, server started up. I've even joined and left a few times just to make sure everything was working properly, and it is. We can come back over here to our server folder, click on plugins, and also see everything's working properly because World Edit and World Guard have generated their config files, which again, we don't really need to edit. So let's go ahead and just jump on into the server here. So once we're in, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you're opt, right? So make sure you're opt-in game, and there's a few ways to do this. You can just do like slash game mode creative, right? And if it lets you do that, you're opt. Otherwise, you need to come over to your server and opt yourself like opt next game. It's going to say I'm already opt, but yeah, that's basically what you want to do. After that, you can do slash slash one, right? So two slashes and then one, and then you'll get uh, this right here, the uh, wooden axe. And this is what we're going to use to basically do everything with World Guard. And that's because this is a World Edit wand and you use World Edit to work with World Guard. So let's go ahead and protect this big diorite square we have. Now, I'm actually just going to protect this row of blocks at first, but then I'll show you how to protect everything from bedrock all the way up to the sky. So let's go ahead and click here with one click of the mouse. And then we'll go ahead and come back over to the other side and left click over here. And as you can see, second position is set. I don't know if it set the first position there. So let's run back over here real quick and click on that. I think it did. Now let's go ahead and do slash region. And then we're going to do define. And then we can define this whatever we want. We're going to do region one just so I can keep track of them. So boom, there we go. Region one has now been successfully created. Now if I come over here and de -op myself real quick, we can go ahead and see that I can't break anything. Even though I'm in creative, I can't break anything. But just this row is protected. So if I go under this, I can break stuff, right? See that? Now, how do we protect from here all the way up to bedrock and all that? Well, it's just gonna take, and again, make a selecting. So we're gonna click right here, and then we're going to go over to the other side. Wait, I need to re -opt myself. There we go, and now we can come over here and do a selection, boom, there's our first position. Come over here and set our second position. Now we wanna do slash slash expand, space, vert, expand, vertical. Now it's expanded all the way from bedrock, all the way up to the top of the uh, world, basically. Now we want to do the same thing. We want to do slash region, define, and then we can call this region whatever, region two, right? But let's say we wanted to redefine region one. We would just do region, redefine, region one, boom. Now region one protects all the way from bedrock all the way up to the sky right here. And if I try to break something, I'm opt. Give me one moment. There we go, now I'm not opt. I can't break anything, but as soon as I get outside of that world, guard protection, I can, see, right there, boom. I can start breaking stuff. So that's basically how you protect an area with World Guard. Now, World Guard's a lot more powerful than that. It allows you to set up PvP areas. It allows you to turn off mob spawning and turn mob spawning on it and all sorts of stuff. How do you do that? Well, you're going to use region flags for that. And there are a lot of region flags. So if we come up here and then click on the fourth link in the description down below, it will take you here. And here are all of the region flags that you can turn on and off 
whenever you're uh, using World Guard. It has everything from allowing TNT to even allowing grass growth. Stuff that you wouldn't even have to think about. It has it. So with that, let's go ahead and do something. I don't know. Let's do, uh, well, we'll just do PVP right here. So as you can see, allow PVP or block PVP. So let's go ahead and open up our game again here. And then we want to type in tap slash region. And then we want to do flag. And then we want to name whatever region it is. In our case, region one. For you, it might be PVP, region two, whatever it is. Region one for us. And then we want to do PVP, which is the flag. We found that over there. As you can see, the flag. We'll do another one after this, like mob spawning, just in case. So PVP. PvP, and then we'll do allow. So we're turning PvP on in the region one. Hit enter, and there we go. Now you can PvP in this area. Let's do another one. Let's do mob spawning. So if we come over here, again, we've done region flag, then whatever our region name is, and then we need the flag. So in our case, it's going to be like mob spawning. Right there it is. So we'll do mob dash spawning. And this time, we'll turn it off to where mobs can't spawn in this area. So we'll do deny and then hit enter. Now mobs can't spawn in this area and PvP is allowed. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you can set up a PvP area. Now someone else joins in, I can PvP them all day every day. And yeah, that's about it. So if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. I respond to almost every comment I get and I'll be more than happy to help you out getting your world guard set up. But anyway, Hey guys, my name is Nick. Come play with us over on play.breakdowncraft.com. If you're just looking for an awesome Minecraft server, my name is Nick again, and I am out. Peace.